Hi everyone, just a quick highlight video on some of the changes and new features that are available in Stop Optimizer version 3, which has been released in Vulkan 10.1. Quick note about spec files, if you open up a spec file that was created in a previous version, it will upgrade that spec file to version 3 uh, compatibility and make a copy of your old one for use with the uh, older versions if for whatever reason you wanted to go back and load them in there. One quick change before we get on to the new features. If you go to the Stoke Framework panel, you'll notice the steps, which are defined or used to define the Stoke dimensions. Uh, they're, they're missing from this panel now. They've been moved to the Dimensions panel to be consistent with all the other places where we specify um, or, or the different options or methods that we can use in specifying dimensions and sizes, etc. of the Stopes. So you can find that now as the fixed option within the Dimensions panel. Moving on to some of the new features, here on the slice definition panel you'll notice that user can specify a true dip and width as opposed to the apparent dip and width that was used and really the only option in previous versions. Narrow or is another new thing within version 3 that for situations where you have narrow or bodies with a very uh, sharp boundary between the mineralization and the host rock, you can specify a target for where the stope will be positioned around that mineralization, near, center, far, as some examples there on this diagram. On the stope geometry panel, you are able to now specify variable dilution through the use of block model variables. Previously, you could just do a single value for near, far, or hanging wall, foot wall. Now you can specify a block model variable, which results in variable dilution being taken into account. Shape refinement. Uh, this is a big ticket item for version 3. It allows you to put a bit more definition in your stope shapes. If we take a look at this, you'll notice that I have two additional points in the middle of the triangulation on each edge. So we get eight point shapes here. You can also do six or the default of four without using any shape refinement. If we take a look at the prism method, this is a brand new method available in Vulkan 10.1. It differs from the slice method in a few ways. The slice method will slice through your block model and analyze grades and do the optimization in that fashion. Uh, you also have to specify two fixed dimensions of the stope. With the prism method, you're able to optimize in three directions, if you like. And there are abilities to specify a range or explicit sizes, as well as regions, throughout the uh, prism optimization process. There are also some shape refinement options here to really kind of fine-tune the stope shape. Instead of getting really blocky shapes, you can tailor that to some of the, the nuances of your aurora body. Here on the restrictions panel, uh, structure surface has been around for quite a bit now, and what that allows the user to do is specify a surface. If you're not using a surface, then here are the stopes that it would give you. With the default behavior when using a structure surface, what it will do is it will take a situation like this, second stope, and expand that out to or break to the surface. But you weren't able to kind of take this case and, and, and break it, snap it back to the surface. That is now an option in version 3. You can kind of see that in this last diagram here, what that looks like as compared to the expand or no influence options. And finally, risk is a, a new thing available within Vulkan 10.1. This allows a user to provide simulated grades as part of the optimization process. What this results in is not only the output stopes, but as attributes and in the report, you will get probabilities for use and as you analyze these stope shapes downstream. So it's just a quick highlight of a few of the, the major things that are available in version 3. There's also been significant speed ups for large block models and then just a few other things throughout the option that allow a, a bit more flexibility and control throughout the stope optimization process. If you have any questions or would like to know more about some of the smaller changes and features, please let us know.